Is he too set in his way, Southgate, Stuart? Uh, too set in his ways? I don't think... He, I, for me, all along, since he's been the manager, he doesn't understand the game tactically. When things are going wrong, he doesn't know how to rectify it. We've seen that in the semi-final against Croatia when it was obvious that their wing-backs were getting forward or their full-backs were getting crosses into the box. He had to stop that and change the system. He didn't do that. In the game against Italy in the final of the European Championships, when they were 1-0 up and should have dominated the game, they sat back and they had Italy to dominate possession. He got it wrong then. And he doesn't know how to change things when things are going badly. Today, he should have been saying to, to Foden and, and, and Sterling, keep spinning in behind. Get in behind the chirp. He can't run. He's 35. Get in behind, Tolai. He's good with his, when he's coming onto the ball, but he's not good when he's running in behind. He didn't change it. I mean, he changed it to a, to a back four with, as, as Jules just said, when they went 1-0 down. Too late. He's just not a good manager, in my view. Oh, it's interesting, though, isn't it, Shaka? Because then you look at the previous major tournaments that Gareth Southgate's been the manager in, and it's been a good run for England. It's been a good run, but I, I think it came um, almost unexpectedly in, 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 in some regards. And, and a lot has been made. And at the time, I felt unfairly around England's route to semi-final and, and final in the last two, two major tournaments. Um, but given what you've seen since Euros, I, I'm not sure how you feel any sense of optimism going, in, going into this tournament. And just to echo something that, that Stuart just said, this was by no stretch of anybody's imagination a, a good Italy performance either. Yet, as this game went on, you only felt it was going to go one way. You talk about, and, and Stuart mentioned Gareth Southgate and his deficiencies tactically. You have an Italian rear guard that lacks pace. There's no other way to put it. You have Sterling and Foden. At no point do England get the wrong side of Italy's defence today. Italy just sat back, soaked the pressure. You knew what they were going to do. Look for those opportunities on the counter-attack. But at no point were England able to make either the guile of Foden or the pace of Sterling count positively for them, to threaten the Italians in, 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 any, kind of, in any kind of measure. If you, if you see that performance, if you see England's inability to do that to a poor Italy team and inability to adjust, which I think is the biggest ask in a World Cup, when you're playing against teams from different confederations and you are asking to play different styles, and you cannot adjust in a game like, like this England game against Italy, it, it, it really doesn't fill you with an awful lot of confidence. It's not a tough group, the group stage for, for England in the World Cup. And maybe the way things pan out, England find themselves with an easy draw and things just start to click all of a sudden. But going into this tournament, I'm, I'm not sure that you feel overly positive at all. What other concerns do you have, Robbo? Uh, you've got players that are playing without confidence at the moment. Uh, Harry Maguire... You know, I've always said he's a good player coming out with the ball. He didn't want to come out with the ball today and said it was too late because he doesn't want to make mistakes. He's made so many mistakes for Manchester United. He was booed by England supporters at Wembley. So he wants to just get through the game without making mistakes. And he looked edgy. Uh, so you, you want him to, to play with more confidence and defend better. Uh, Eric Dyer, I mean, uh, Walker got most of the criticism for the goal, and quite rightly so, but Eric Dyer was almost playing as a sweep and playing 10, 15 yards behind everybody else. He could have come onto the ball when that ball was played over the top. So they've got to be better organised and have a better understanding of what they're trying to do from the first minute to the last minute, both defensively and in attack. And Pope, the goalkeeper, to me, doesn't look... And probably he won't be in goal for the World Cup, he won't be their starter, but doesn't look comfortable with the ball at his feet, which is a problem as well. Jules, have you got anything to add? Um, no, I, I just would like, please, to make the parallel between uh, Gary Sadgett and Raymond Domenech, who's wo the worst uh, head coach that France have ever had, despite reaching a World Cup final. And I see a lot of similarities with Gary Sadgett. Robbo like that. Do you like that one, Robbo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that says everything. I mean, that, is, that says everything, doesn't it? I mean, Dominic was a... But, no, at least Gareth Southgate's a good man manager. I don't think Dominic was a good man manager. I think Jules would admit that. True. True. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe 
the ESPN Plus.